This is the Mac Mini based Media Center. Very good. So, let's start by reviewing the parts that I used to build my Mac Mini centric media center. Uh, let, me, let me first let you know why I decided to do it first, because I was tired of paying Comcast a ton of money every month for a bunch of channels that I would never ever see. And then I was missing my shows, and there was really no point. So I said, now the Mac Mini is the perfect computer for that, and it's a, it's a complete computer. The price is right. Let's get it, and let's build a nice media center. So this is the Mac Mini that I use. This is the uh, 2011 Mac Mini with, let me see, what are the technical characteristics. Yes, this is the Core i5 with the Thunderbolt uh, high-speed input-output uh, connector and of course it comes with Lion. It is the Core i5 version of it so it's, uh, it's high up there, it's not the highest uh, the fastest one they have but for a media center I think this, this works very very well. It has, as I said before, 4 gigabytes uh, of memory and 500 gigabytes of uh, this drive. So it is a very nice, clean, elegant Apple machine. The other important thing you're gonna need is the actual tuner if you want to see live TV and record live TV and I decided to buy the Elgato ITB Hybrid. Um, this is a very small unit, this is the size, as you can see this is the USB connector, so this is very small, I'm not, I, I can't show it the right, uh, the actual unit because it's connected and working right now, it's actually recording and exporting something, so I cannot disconnect it to show you guys, but the software that comes with the unit also is very good, we'll be seeing uh, what it does in a minute, but you connect your antenna, your cable antenna, to this end of the unit and then of course you connect the USB uh, port here to one open available USB port on the Mac Mini and that's it that's uh, that's all you need and you can record high definition digital TV as well as standard definition analog but all of that media is going to take a lot of space so I decided to buy these Hitachi Toro desk external hard drive it's a 3 terabyte external hard drive, but I found it for about $150. So it was a tremendous deal. $150 for 3 terabytes USB to uh, external storage is perfect and I can record literally hours and hours and hours of high definition shows and then export them to my iPad or my other Macs with no issues whatsoever. 3 terabyte drive from Hitachi and finally to control everything I decided to buy the Logitech De Novo Mini uh, keyboard and trackpad for uh, media centers. It is a very nice, very elegant little device. Uh, I mean this is not an Apple device but you know still Logitech builds some of the nicest things out there. It's a Bluetooth remote and I have it this I have right here to show you. So this is the unit, it is very small. When you open it, then it lights up a little bit and you can actually control the mouse from here and the keyboard here. Uh, you are not going to write a book, a novel with this keyboard, but you can definitely write an address, a little email uh, or something like that with no issues whatsoever. Uh, it is very, very useful. It says in here that it's only compatible with Windows, but it's not. 
it is also compatible with Mac. So let's take a look at the actual setup and then we're going to go into the software itself. Very good. So this is the actual media center, the little home theater and uh, the focus of it is the Sony 46 inch LCD TV. This is an old LCD TV. I've had it for about, I don't know, six years maybe. Uh, it's still working fine and you know it's, it's, it's just a 720p uh, resolution TV. It's still considered high resolution but I have no reason really to change it for a 1080p. Of that size the difference will be barely noticeable. Barely. Here you have the Mac Mini, the 2011 Mac Mini. As you can see, everything is connected here from digital, digital audio, all the USB connectors, I have the external drive, I have um, a mouse, I have, I don't remember what else I have. I have a bunch of stuff. Oh, the um, the tuner, the Elgato Hybrid TV tuner. This is the HDMI port. This is, of course, the Firewire. This is Ethernet and your power cord. So pretty much everything is connected on this baby. Here I have my center speaker. I have a little Apple um, webcam for doing Skype or FaceTime on the big screen and I have here a Sony Clie digital assistant that I use exclusively as a universal remote for the whole media center. What else do you do with these things now? Pretty much nothing. So as a remote control it is absolutely perfect. I forgot to show you guys the other level of the home theater, of the media center, right here. This is a Panamax voltage regulator and of course our 7.1 amplifier, 7 channels of amplification. Fully, fully surround. Here, this is just a DVD burner connected to the Mac Mini. If I ever want to see DVDs again, I doubt it, but you never know. And finally, a PS3, a Sony PlayStation 3, the older version. Uh, but I bought it mainly for watching Blu-rays. And once every blue moon, I would play a game. Uh, but I don't really have a lot of time for that. My subwoofer and uh, the other speaker. All the speakers are JBL. And then, of course, uh, you have the other speakers, my leather couch, and that pretty much completes the setup. Very good. So we're here inside the Mac Mini now. I'm going to show you guys two pieces of software that I use uh, to manage my media and my content. ITV right here came with uh, Elgato hybrid TV tuner and it is the software that I use basically to record uh, live TV and to watch live TV on those rare occasions when I do so. So here uh, these are some of my recordings Terra Nova, The Tonight Show and then you can see all of the channels that I have available. There aren't that many uh, because again I, I cut the cable I just kept the basic cable uh, but it is uh, high quality high definition um, over the air channels and that's pretty much all I need on this front so to record my shows this is what I use ITV it's very simple you uh, create a smart guides here on this side and you record your shows and then you can export them automatically to the iPad or the iPhone or send them directly to iTunes and then manage everything to, uh, through iTunes. The second piece of software that I use is called Plex and let's launch it right here and Plex is a media 
because I'm recording the screen at the same time, I have to assume. But for instance, if we go into the video plugin section of Plex, you see I have a bunch of uh, channels. Let's call them channels, such as Revision 3, CNET, CNN, the iTunes content, Twit, and YouTube. So I can watch all of my YouTube subscri subscriptions from here and uh, keep track of everything. I used to have Netflix as one of those channels, but for some reason it is not working. I have to check out and see what's going on. But you can also see your Netflix films and TV shows through Plex. So uh, it is a very, very complete piece of software uh, and you can do other stuff in it. You can listen to your music, you can watch all your pictures, install additional applications, so on and so forth. For instance, let's take a look at TV shows. And here I can see all my shows that I have recorded, all the seasons of How I Met Your Mother, for instance. And I have from season two to three, four, five, six, and seven, a bunch of episodes per season. And it's done automatically through Plex. I don't have to do anything. Um, it's a combination of ITB that records live TV uh, from the antenna cable. And then I can see it here on Plex. It's very nicely organized. And this is a show that my wife likes, uh, The Simpsons, I mean, of course. the theme music and everything so it's pretty nice it is very very nice and that's pretty much in a nutshell what I use um, ITV to record uh, the shows and the, the, the movies that are playing on TV and then Plex to manage and watch uh, the shows Netflix YouTube so on and so forth so that completes my review of the uh, Mac Mini, an explanation of my media center, how I use my Mac Mini to watch my movies. And uh, thank you for watching.